all plus size panel talk show where we bring you our weekly roundup on all things politics, pop culture, fashion, and more. Now, some of you may or may not know, but we did a national casting call to see who was going to join us at the Lips TV table. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce to you Miss Kelly. Davis, oh. also known as Kelly Kells. This young lady has featured on All Deaf Comedy. Yes. Is that, it's All Deaf Comedy. It's on HBO. It's fantastic. She came to uh, audition with us all the way from New York City. Can you believe that? Yeah. So we're going to see if she has what it takes to join the ladies of Hips TV. Please help me welcome my beautiful co-host, Nzinga, Kimberly, and of course me, I'm Joy. Ladies, ready to jump into the mix with Hips? Ready. Let's begin. <laughs> all right. So recently, there's been a data breach at Facebook that have relinquished 50 50 million users information to a company that now used it to influence the campaign the election with Trump so there's a lot of hashtags yeah. going around saying delete Facebook do you think it's time to let that social media giant go I don't think so I do think because the company is called Cambridge Analytics okay. um, and this is the company that put out the, the program to get user data mm -hmm. and now we've been breached again mm -hmm. so I mean I, I have more issues with the breach because we give our data all the time, right? Yeah. We gave our data to Facebook. Right. And even Facebook they says, take our data. Well, I'm mean, no, you time. give it because you, you want to use it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you use it, so you, you, you gave it. So I, do, I feel a certain type of way about it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But I think we just need to hold people accountable more than we need to delete mm -hmm. Facebook because yeah. Facebook yeah. has really revolutionized our culture, our world. I mean, some of the things that I see on Facebook, even as it relates to, um, like, crisis and when it says are you safe you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. always yes. you know like what is it like ch safety checks check and things right. like that so it has become so integral in our yeah. world now I don't think we should delete it's it. a machine of its own it definitely yeah. is a machine Facebook at this point I don't think can be killed yeah, no I mean right. it just it, it cannot be killed yeah. so at this point right now I think it's a witch hunt right now people witch hunt. Uh, it's a witch hunt hmm. oh here we go <laughs> <laughs> I'm like tell me more yeah, right, right, right. 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 right so <laughs> the issue is right now people are mad as hell and they're mad at Trump okay. and so right, right now it's the blame game going on now Mark Zuckerberg now if we're going to bring this whole um, Cambridge Analytics into the play about it we're going to have to bring all these other organizations that have misused our data and there have been breaches before but that was this my came, point, I mean, that, was my point. No, yeah, that was my point but what I'm going with it is like okay let's let's just be honest if, if we're going to hold one account which they do need to be held accountable right. 50 million uses, honestly, is nothing compared to the billions that are being used. And honestly, uh, maybe it was me. Did y'all see a whole lot of promoting of Donald Trump going on when you was on social media during the election? I did. I did. Anti-Hillary, and I did see a lot of Trump. I yeah. did. Oh, I, don't, that honestly, that I, don't really, I don't really remember, but I think it's a subconscious thing, how they sort of use yeah, it to, to kind of feed us, like, the main I think they just don't want to accept the fact that they lost. magazines yeah. and they're not reading articles so if we get rid of this giant what's the new giant that's going to creep in a book, a book a <laughs> we book a magazine forward. read the new that's not going to happen, that's not gonna happen. You know, like, that's we're not, not even in the world that our children are not even going to ever use books mm -hmm. in probably 10 years books are going to be obsolete, obsolete. Yeah. and that's what it's going to be yeah. social media yeah. your your syllabus is going to probably be on youtube uh -huh. it'll be online that's true that's, that's true. happening already yeah, yeah that's true. School i just think it's online. more or less about social media responsibility and that's what it is right. so, so Mark Zuckerberg, he, did, he yeah. did commit to hiring additional five thousand yeah. cyber security yeah. 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 by I the end of this that. year yeah, I heard about that. so he is taking responsibility yeah. after they took a 50 billion dollar plunge this week how about that yeah, but 50 but this, billion dollars nah, this is yeah, no, he's already made, made those money i know but that's yeah. the reason why he's they already made this money so now it's a slap on the wrist exactly. i'm sorry yeah. we'll get more security we, you know we yeah. knew but we yeah. didn't know yeah. and honestly our information is being taken by everybody, everybody yeah. all the time yeah. we wouldn't know where yeah. they got it yeah. from yeah. it could be good from 
social media or websites we shop at. You have to understand it. Totally. It's totally. Wow. Look at the grocery store. I mean, we super fly. I'm sure we shop online. <laughs> I don't, actually. I don't, honey. Give oh. me a brick and mortar every day. I need yes. to try stuff online. My hips need to try stuff online. Come on, okay. I'm with it online. Oh, I can't do it. Because if it don't fit right, then I got to send it back and I feel yeah. like I want to miss it. It's a hassle. Right. That's why you get everything to stretch. Okay, uh, don't stretch. Speaking of stretch, preach it. Oh God, listen. Okay, we're talking about stretching. Let's get ready to stretch. This <laughs> okay. The allegations with Bill Cosby are at an all-time high, and I totally understand what's going on. But ladies, can we say it's safe to say that can we separate the Bill Cosby show and the impact that they had on the community from the actual artists? So separating the art, art from the, the artists. artists. So you're saying, should we not be happy that they brought the Cosby Show back? Should we? I think that's be, it. Should we be upset that they even tried no, to take the Bill listen. Cosby Show off the air completely? Yes. Yeah. Knowing that he was American. You're damn right we should be yeah, upset. Absolutely. And let me tell you why. Tell us. Okay. okay. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, and I did my research on this one. Let me tell you something. Okay. Here it is. Stephen Collins. Remember that show? And I like the show. with Seventh Heaven. Mm -hmm. He has admitted. Yes. Admitted mm -hmm. to numerous mm -hmm. allegations. Mm -hmm of child molestation exactly. for seventh heaven mm -hmm. heaven wow. he was the awesome christian dad of mm -hmm. all these children yep, right yeah. now i look he's on hulu amazon cbs Everybody. it was like seven or yeah. eight different yeah. networks yeah. that you can pull it up yeah. netflix you can pull it up right, right now right. look at um what, what charlie she oh, oh my god two and a half minutes all right yeah. you go go there you when you scroll down all the networks that it still can come yeah. on and online that remember we're not just talking about nbc cbs yeah. the, we're talking about even these online portals yep. that are still um, showing show it. Yeah. Cosby Show, Hulu, and that was it. Wow. You mean, so, you mean while he was in the process of going through the court, like the now, even right now, no, it's on it's on TV One. Now. Okay, so you got TV One. Okay, that's a good thing. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. TV, TV one. one and Hulu. So there is a great. Um, you, we're taking out all the other people that were part of this movement, yes. part of the show. I don't look. They gave look, us the foundation, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was a part of the community. It was a part of history. Look, the comedy yeah. show started. Came on in '86. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the first representation of black families yes. that Successful. were together, yes. Successful, together, highly yes. educated, good and kids. Good um, that any black people or white people. Even and we love our white folks, no, no disrespect. But so that you could sort of shift the paradigm as to what the media portrayed African Americans as, Absolutely. Absolutely. especially as it related to our families. Yes. And yes. so that is a historic piece of television history, not only that, but just our cultural but, history. But Bill Cosby has been much more than just even the Cosby show. Yeah. His work, he yes. is. I'm, I'm a comedian. From a comedian standpoint, from a comedian standpoint yeah. he's been doing this for over 50 years. Yeah. He's yeah. been in the industry yeah. making a, a, a tradeway for African American. Mm -hmm. Actors, comedians, whatever. And not just African Americans, though. Bill Cosby yeah. is a yes. staple in our culture. Yes. Yes. Even yes. for white yes. comedians, yes. they yeah. look to him for certain influences. Yes. And so, it's a witch hunt. I, and it was scary. But how about I wasn't going to go back to that for him. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 but they stripped him of everything. I, I yeah. actually graduated from Central State University. And I'm come on, come on, come on. And I'm a communications major, right? Go ahead. And guess what? We had the Cosby Building, where I spent numerous hours and I met some of the most amazing people and Bill Cosby was there and he was impactful and guess what his name is not on that building and I have a problem yeah, if that's yeah. the case let's give him back his money his time yeah. his hard work yeah. because that we have to separate church and state I just think <laughs> that they I think I think what happens is when unfortunately in our culture when a white man mm. does a crime yeah um, it's it's a slap on the wrist. Not Harvey Weinstein. It's, it's a, a you yeah. go to sex council. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, president. Uh, it's, an it's, issue. Issue. it's an issue. When a black person, black man, black woman, black yes. child mm -hmm. does it, it becomes a stripping. It becomes a we need a to lynching. make. Well, we need to yeah. make an example out of you. I yes. mean, even if we think yes. back to Michael Vick when he played play for mm -hmm. uh, yes. the foot, when he played football yes. and the and the dog fighting and all of those things. I mean, you can have your opinion about it, yeah. but I, the fact all. still remains is that. It's different when yes. it's a white person yes. or when it's a black person. Because mm -hmm. you can yeah, go to absolutely. jail for killing a dog, but not for killing absolutely. several absolutely. children. Yes. Black children. children. Wow. Absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. So, TV One, outstanding job. Mm -hmm. Keep the Cosby Thank Show you. on. We love the Cosby yes. Show. And yes. we love you too, Bill Cosby. We do, Bill. Even with yeah. whatever you're going through. Bill. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, speaking of wrongful actions and marriages <laughs> and infidelity <laughs> and so forth, speaking. I have a question to propose to you. Uh -huh. All right, let's say you have been married now for a year. Okay. All right? Okay. You're married for a year. Your significant other, your husband comes home and he outs himself. What do you mean? He what do you mean out? Wait, he he outs murder? himself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he. Oh, he girl. Outs, <laughs> he outs 
himself as being bisexual. Oh no. Okay. Are you okay. willing to stay in that relationship? You say within a year. Hot in here. Right. Don't take off all your clothes. No. <laughs> Did you say within a year? It's a <laughs> Wait. So he. So you've been married a year. Yes. Your husband comes home and says that he's bisexual. Do you stay? You are. Now, you're the only married woman oh, on our set right now. Okay. Right. And if your beloved sweet husband is watching, and, yes. And he is <laughs> hey, so amazing and strong. He's a welder. <laughs> okay. Hey, husband. Hey, husband. So, um, so I would not. Me personally wouldn't be able to deal with that. No disrespect you hear that. to anyone else and their preference, but personally. That's just something I don't want Why? to. Yes. Why? Because yes. I, first of all, marriage is sacred. Okay. Men, woman, anybody, dog, cat. It's just me and you. And I promise the fire and the heat I'm giving you. Oh, baby. come on, heat. Okay, come on, heat. You're not going to need anybody else. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, uh, no, you know what I mean? And I'm not coming for you. Yeah, because a lot of us women, and I don't mean to interrupt you, I want you to get back to no, that's point. Fine. But a lot of us women, I mean, we all feel like we got that heat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. To be very honest. And um, apparently, you ain't had enough. Yeah. Because there are a lot thing. of men that I feel a little check check before, before the marriage. Are you, are, right. Are, were you bisexual before the marriage? And if that's the case, that's fine for Honestly. me. For me. But my issue now is you're me sexual. You know, you're not sexual with anybody else. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where that comes from. Like, like that me sexual. That's, oh, you you, you yeah. are you you were bisexual? That's fine. You were. Because now I'm the only person who gets to sexual you. Well, and I think too, it doesn't allow you to make your own decision as to how you want to engage this not fair because you don't yeah. know. Because yeah. you were under the pretense that he point, was that heterosexual. Yeah, but at this well, point, it's it's null and void. What's well, null and void? Well, no, let me let me say from a personal standpoint, it, it is something that needs to be disclosed. Absolutely. So, right away. What if he wasn't bisexual, but he after a year, a year? I mean, you know, y'all go to church, y'all go to the grocery store, and and then within six months, he's like, I, I think, think it's a whole. Let me say. You got to tell me before that year. It depends on the context. What if this is something? Uh, me, myself, I battle with my own sexuality. Okay. So in my younger days, I had a little fun. You was a freak. Okay. <laughs> and I don't take and I take no shame right, with that. Right, right. Um, you know, sexuality is very fluid it right is. now, and I do believe sometimes people they legitimately battle with that, and maybe coming into a marriage. It's questioned. But guess yeah. what? So, let's be say this though, ladies. And it's let's address the elephant in the room. When women are bisexual, it's accepted a little it bit is more. Accepted. Women can come back from it. But when a man is bisexual, he's like, oh, you're about to you're going fail. That's but I also yeah. feel so, like that's in the black community. That's not throughout okay. that's not through all cultures because it, it, just I don't care people, what culture it is, thing. though. You, you have taken different. my choice away from me. And okay. that's the bigger yeah. issue. Like, that's it could be whatever culture. Oh, mission. You, yeah. 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 You're taking my, because we stood up here and you honoring me and I'm honoring you under the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he talked about that. How's it any different? If someone is having a drug, what if they, what, they come out and say, look, I like crack or I like this? If you take those <laughs> vows, what if he comes and he's like, look, I'm battling with this. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? This, this is, I mean, come but on. See, look, crack, I, I mean, I don't, crack is not a person. And so now I'm competing with an actual person, what they're doing like for you yeah. spiritually, what they're doing for you in your body. And guess what? That's I've myself. been at the gym working now, so if you want me to be like, and get all tough, <laughs> <laughs> what I do? I'm talking about being stocky on them. Oh, you mean to be like a man? Oh, no. I'm talking about we got hips, but I'm talking about like. You're trying, trying to be like a man. No, just a little, like, little Girl. tough. I mean, what you want, babe? Yeah, I mean, I'm like this. Like, babe, don't do that. He don't want you, girl. But how did you discover that you were bisexual? Also wow. Is this it. something that happened but, after? But that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like you've been married a year, and then maybe he was hetero, but then within that year, so you cheated, right? Maybe he hadn't cheated, but maybe he had some thoughts, and then he was like, "To your point, I need some help, yeah. honey. I think I'm struggling with bisexuality." And it's best that it come out in the year, yeah. Yeah. and it. then and instead of some of these men we see that's on the down low and doing all so the would you life. stay with him? What you question? Stay. I believe it, it depends on the context of the situation. Don't I give me too much yeah. ambiguity. I need to know. I mean, I know it does depend. I it can't always say. depends. I don't know. What if? I mean, I, what's your first gut? Thought? Because you you have to look at it from how I'm looking at it. Okay. Because of me yeah. and being in that situation. But you're a woman. So, I, so no, okay, no, no, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't, but it is. But it is. But, it is. But, it is. but women deal with their sexuality just I'm as not. much as men deal with their sexuality. Okay. And I can respect someone who says, you know what, this is my lane. This is who I'm gonna be. Especially what about people that are tormented, whether from because of religious aspect or social, um, economic aspect? Then you should have got married. 
Because you can be, you understand, like, if you you're tormented before. and you're not, because it's about preparedness. I'm not saying perfection, yeah. but there's a level of preparedness. How many people prepare for marriage? Well, 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 well I mean, listen, you but just, it's I about, pers- oh, there you go. I did. It's I about prepare for marriage. You had a nine billion people. Well, whatever. <laughs> but it's because people don't take responsibility. Right. I'm 41 years old. How you doing? Looking good. Oh, <laughs> but you have to make a decision as to, because that's the problem. We go into marriage so loosely nowadays. Okay, he yeah. makes a decision, and this is, and this, that's what it is. I'm going to be with a woman. This is, I, I like women. So it's a no for me. Woman, it's a no for me. Wait, no, no. You said I'm going to be with a woman. You talking about you? Him, him, him. Dude. Okay, right. Because he's Kim. 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 What are you talking about? Kim, Kim. Let her Kim. Let her talk. Kim, Kim. 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 Kim, why couldn't you, you help him? Okay, I'm going yeah, to why as his spouse, yes. wouldn't you help him deal with that? You're saying he needs to come prepared, but you don't know what life is going to ha- hand you yeah. that puts you in a position that's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm having feelings. I have these desires. What do I do? Is this real? Is this is this lust? What is this? What he's honestly but, coming to you, but think, ask him, yes. But something like with bisexual, like you want another human, right? So I really can't even help you with that. That's what I, my mm. mind frame is. I oh, can't help you point. with the man that's part good. that you're wanting. So you're going to always have that want. You're going to always have that desire. That's so let's be point. honest, baby. I love you. Is it really like a whole year or do we got like a couple more months for me getting to know <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. If this would because, <laughs> I'm because done. Because I think there's goodness to struggle, right? Yes. I think there's goodness to yes. struggle because we all struggle with something or yes. some things. Yes. 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 And so would you go to counseling? I would. Absolutely. Would you go to counseling? She done. I'm done. Okay, I'm she's done. done. <laughs> I think the consensus <laughs> is that that's a really tough <laughs> topic for us to, yes. to really absorb yes. and to, um, to, to, to download. I'm stumbling yeah. here, right? Um, but this is such a, yeah, it was very heavy. Yeah. But this was such a healthy debate. Um, and if you like what you saw, we want to make sure that you follow us on all social media yes. at HipCV <laughs> and on Facebook at MyHipCV. And catch us next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. This. Hello everyone, it's your girl Kelly Davis, aka Comedian Kelly Kells, and I am your finalist for Hips TV. Come have a seat at our table.